Good evening, YouTube, Booktube. This is Johnny. <clears throat> Time to make a video. And it is a Monday night here in Southwest Michigan. It is November the 19th. It is 8.42 at night here where I live out my days. It always amazes me how, how long I've lived. I mean, um, I'm 66 years old and um, seems like a long time. My wife and I will celebrate 40 years of marriage on May 9, 2019. 40 years with one person. It just seems like a blink, a blink of an eye. Just amazes me how time just goes by. It's like like this evening, our, our oldest son who moved down the street from us, our oldest son Caleb, he stopped by this evening with a big container of turkey rice soup for us. And uh, I think he's, Caleb's 36, 37 years old. Th has two s small children, married working, his wife works. It's just, uh, it always amazes me. Last night, during the evening, we FaceTimed on Carol's cell phone with our second son, Josiah, and his wife, Hannah, and their little daughter, Marika Rose, there in Seattle. And my wife texted our daughter, who's our youngest, Bethany, who's with her husband's family and some family get-together there in Utah. It's just, time goes by. Your kids grow up, have families, jobs, careers. We have six grandchildren, and here I am sitting here, supposed to be talking about Monday Reads. <laughs> So uh, today I volunteered at the library used bookstore, The Book Nook. I brought home this used book, uh, Them, A Parent's Memoirs by Francine du Pelex Gray. When I saw this, the reason why I got this, not only because I collect memoirs, but I have two novels by Francine du Pelex Gray, The Queen's Lover, a novel, and Lovers and Tyrants by Francine Dewey Pelex Gray. I think these are like considered historical fiction, I think. So then I saw this memoir that she wrote about her parents. So I got that. And then I found a biography on Primo Levy, a biography, The Double Bond, Primo Levy, a biography by Carol Angeler. He's a, a very famous uh, writer. Uh, I think he was Italian. He wrote uh, He wrote this, I got this picture, so he wrote this very famous novel, The Periodic Table by Primo Levi. Uh, says here, Primo Levi, a chemist by profession, has won every distinguished literary prize in native Italy and has been nominated for the 1986 Notchstadt International Prize for Literature. The Periodic Table, his first book to appear in the United States in 20 years, 20 years, won the Kenneth B. Smith Award sponsored by the Jewish Museum, two present tense literary awards for autobiography and for excellency in translation, was nominated for the 1985 Los Angeles Times Book Award. Uh, I assume... Uh, 
uh, that this is, uh, I thought it was a novel. Maybe it's something else. Let me see here. It says an autobiography. Anyway, I have another book of his, too, here. I got it. Uh, Primo Levi, If Not Now, When? In the final days of World War II, a courageous band of Jewish Parisians makes its way from Russia to Italy towards the ultimate goal, Palestine, based on a true story. If Not Now, When? Chronicles their adventures as they wage a personal war of revenge against the Nazis, blowing up trains, rescuing the last victims of concentration camps, scoring victories in the face of unspeakable devastation. Yeah. It says here about him, born in Turin, Italy in 1919, Primo Levi was trained as a chemist, arrested as a member of the anti-fascist resistance. He was deported to Auschwitz in 1944, his experience in the death camp is a subject of two classic memoirs, Survival in Auschwitz and the Reawakening, and of the recently published and acclaimed The Periodic Table. So this is autobiographical. Must be about his time in the Auschwitz, the Jewish concentration camp during the Second World War under the, the Nazis. So anyway, I got those at the book nook. Got this big biography. I love biographies and memoirs, and so that's what I got. When I was at the book nook, I read when I wasn't falling asleep or helping people. It was pretty slow at the book nook today. So I read Human Nature from Calvin to Edwards by Paul Helm. I got a, I mentioned I had another book by Paul Helm. This is it, John Calvin's Ideas by Paul Helm. I bought this, oh, I don't know when this came out. This came out in 2004. First published in paperback in 2006. I, co I collect things on Calvin. I, met, I showed you this, Calvin's Theology of the Psalms by Herman J. Solderhouse. Well, I found another book by him I have in our library. This is Calvin's Handbook, edited by Herman J. Solderhouse. Like I said, uh, I'm a Calvinist, but not like I was when I was younger. But so to me, if, if you call yourself a Calvinist, you should at least know what John Calvin wrote and what he believed and taught which goes back to the 16th century. So that's why I have so many books on John Calvin, because and if you read John Calvin, he was a very, a very godly man, a very, very serious Christian, very devout, very, I have his commentaries. And like I said, he, uh, he's really worth reading. So uh, besides that, that's all I've read. I, oh, I, today I, I've been looking at, I, I keep by me in the living room, Ulysses by James Joyce. And I've been reading this this afternoon. Uh, this is James Joyce, Ulysses. It's a s literary study of Ulysses. And I was reading the first couple chapters. And I read this off and on, Ulysses. I never read it, I've read it completely. But uh, I always find it worth reading, Ulysses. And like I said, I collect books on James Joyce, Ulysses, uh, Fannigan's Wake, Artist as a Young Man, anything on James Joyce. So I've been reading that this afternoon. This is uh, James Joyce, Ulysses, edited with an introduction by Harold Bloom. This is in the series Modern. Uh, modern Critical Interpretations. This is a series. So, and I ended in my 
paper diary. I ended on page 976 today. Tomorrow is November the 20th, which is a Tuesday. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm kind of, I'm kind of out of it. And I was kind of wondering why have I been. It's like when I get towards the end of another another year, I find myself always going back into the past, looking over all the years of my life. Maybe that's why I opened up this video about t being 66 years old. And also, as I said, that my wife's older brother Dave is not is not doing well. He, my wife thinks he's dying, but we hope not. Uh, tomorrow. They see his doctor to see how how advanced his con cancer has has gotten has gotten into his whole body into his brain and but my wife says he's doing really bad and she's doesn't really doesn't really know if he's going to make it so and he's only seventy years old that's pretty young. <laughs> And uh, he's been sick for a long time, 14, 15 years. So anyway, so you think about life and death and growing old and knowing that there is an eternity. There is, we're not, we're not going to die. I mean, we're all going to live eternally, either in heaven or hell. It's just just the way it is. It's what reality is. So it's kind of sobering. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Like I said, I'm probably going to turn all the lights off and sit in the dark. Go to bed early. I'm really tired. So, so this is Monday Reads. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the new subscribers. I, I, well, I say that every time I end a video. Um, thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the comments. I really mean it. It's not just I'm just saying it out of routine or habit. Uh, I do enjoy the interaction even though it's somewhat impersonal. But hey, we got to keep reaching out. So don't know what else to add to this video. So I'll sign off. And until the next time, good night.